So in this video, we will learn how to add WordPress users to Pipedrive. So imagine this, a new user called as John registers to your WordPress website. So you have John's name, email address and all those details. So you want to add John as a person in Pipedrive, maybe to create deals with him in the future or just for backup. So here you have two choices. The first choice is copy all the details of John from WordPress, sort him out and manually add him as a person in Pipedrive. Now the problem with this approach is, it's actually very repetitive and tiresome. So here I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that whenever a new user registers in WordPress, automatically create a person in Pipedrive. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate WordPress and Pipedrive. The best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you with an example. Okay, so this is the login page of my WordPress account. So the idea is that a person is going to register to my WordPress account. He will be added as a person in Pipedrive. So let's say a guy called as uh, Tyson. This is the user email. 123 at the rate gmail.com is making the registration. So this is the password. And this is the username of Tyson. Okay, and this is the last name. Maxwell. And this is the first name. Tysony. And the country he is from, he is from Argentina. Okay, so basically a person called as uh, Tyson Maxwell is making a registration to my WordPress page. Okay, so let me just click on submit. Okay, so as you can see, the user has been successfully registered. So let's have a look in Pipedrive. Do we have a person called as Tysony? So let's have a look. Yes, we do have the person. So as you can see, these are the details of Tyson. So basically, this is the whole gist. If there is a registration in my WordPress site, the person who registers, he will be added as a person in Pipedrive. Now to begin the actual integration process in the new type, let me just type pabli.com. So your obvious question is why pabli.com? Well, we have an app called as Pabli Connect that will integrate WordPress and Pipedrive. So, okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so basically we are going to create a new workflow to integrate WordPress and Pipedrive. Now before I create a new workflow, there is something I have to do. So as you can see, these are all the applications that I have integrated. And one of the integration that I have already made is WordPress and Pipedrive. So I'm going to switch off this workflow. The reason I'm switching off this workflow is if this integration is running parallel to the newly created workflow, there will be the problem of duplication of result. For example, if a new person registers in WordPress and since there are two workflows running, there will be two person created in Pipedrive. So we don't want that. So that is why I have switched off this workflow. But it is actually none of your concern because we are going to start from scratch by clicking on create workflow. Okay, so we are going to give a name to this workflow. So how about WordPress, WordPress to Pipedrive integration. Okay, I'm sorry about the spelling. And let me just click on create. So when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So basically, we are going to create a new workflow. Now, uh, there is something I have to tell you. Now, the link of the workflow is available in the description box in case if you want to clone the template. Now, in the choose app, how about I make it as WordPress because we want to send the data from WordPress. That is why WordPress it is. Now, in the triggered event, how about we make it as user registers. Okay, so user registers is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question, if this condition is met, what should be done? 
For example, if a new user registers in WordPress, then what action should be taken by the system? Now we do have a ton of trigger events. Now in case if you want more trigger events, go to the help section, click here. Okay, so we are getting directed to the help section and it will direct you to Pabli forums. So basically in Pabli forums, you can make a request that you want so and so trigger events. Okay, so you just can make a request here. Okay, so let me just take you back to Pabli Connect. So basically the gist is we are just trying to integrate WordPress to Pabli Connect. So let me just take you to WordPress. Now before we start the actual integration, there is something I have to tell you. There is a plugin that you have to install. The name of the plugin is WP Webhooks. Okay, so this is the plugin. I'm just going to copy this, going to WordPress and let me just straight away take you to the dashboard. Okay, so this is the dashboard. So what I'm going to do here is I'm taking you to the plugin section. So yeah, so this is the plugin section and I'm going to click on the install plugin in a new tab. Okay, so these are the plugins that have been installed in my WordPress account. So I'm just going to search for the plugin that is WP Webhooks. This is the plugin. Now I'm not going to teach you how to install a plugin. If you are an avid WordPress user, you already know how to install that. Now, in case if you don't know it, just click on add new and just type the name WP Webhooks. After installing it, just activate it. Okay, so this is the plugin WP Webhooks. After you have installed, straight away, just click on settings. Open this in a new tab. Okay, so this is where the settings page will load. Okay, so this is the settings page of WP Webhooks. Now, we have some choices here. We have to select this choice, send data. This is because we want to send data to a particular app. That is why. So we have selected the webhook version that is send data. Now in the send data, we have to create a new webhook. So as you can see, I already have created some webhooks. Now for your consideration, I'm going to create one additional webhook. So let me just click on add webhook URL. Okay, so this is the window and we have to fill the webhook name and the webhook URL. So basically, I'm just going to assign a random name. So how about pipe drive data deal. Okay, so this is a random name that I have given pipe drive data deal. You can of course give any name according to your choice. Now coming to the most important part, the webhook URL. So that this is my webhook URL. Let me just go to public connect and let me just copy this. This is basically my webhook URL. Once you copy the webhook URL, you will be seeing that it is already showing it is waiting for the data. So let me just take you back and let me just paste this webhook URL. Okay. So we have entered the webhook URL. Let me just click on add for create user. Okay. So as you can see, the webhook URL has been added. Essentially, it means that we have integrated WordPress to public Connect. So basically, this means that anytime a new user registers to your WordPress site, Public Connect will capture the data. So as to ensure that Public Connect captures this data, this button, make sure that this button is clicked. So basically, it is showing that it is waiting for the data. You don't have to do anything now. All you have to do is we make some test here. So basically, where is the link of the registration page? So let me just uh, show you the registration page. So let me just take you to the post, all post, open this in a new tab. Okay, so out of these posts, I have selected a one particular post. So basically, I have created a registration form. So basically, the user is going to fill in this form. The user has already done it. You obviously know that. Now, uh, this form is built by an app called as uh, user something, user WP. Okay. Now, in case if you want uh, to build with another app, it can be also be done. Uh, now, I'm happy with this app because uh, it can be easily done. That is why I'm just showing you that. Okay, so basically what we are going to do here is we are going to fill in some detail. So this is the name of the guy. Roger. Roger boy 123 at the rate gmail.com. This is the email. And uh, this is the password of Roger boy. This is the username. Roger boy 12. And this is the last name that is boy. This is the first name Roger. Okay, so Roger is from Armenia. Okay, let's go with that. So basically the details has been entered by Roger. So let me just click on submit. Okay, so it is showing the user has been successfully registered. So let me just take you to public connect to check whether we have the data of this user or not. So let me just take you there. Okay, so we have the data. So this is the login that is Roger Boy 12. 
and then we have the password it is already in a complex form and then we have the email rogerboy123 at the rate gmail.com so this is the display name roger12 and let me just uh, scroll down to show all the rest of the details so this is the first name that is roger the last name is boy so basically we have got all the details so the gist is we are going to use all these details to create a person in pipe drive okay so to create a pipe person in pipe drive let me just introduce one more window okay so this window is called as the action window so in the choose app how about we make it as pipe drive because we want to create a person in pipe drive that is why pipe drive it is now in the action event how about we make it as create a person with custom fields let it load okay so let me just uh, scroll down and find the action event that is create a person with custom field click this okay so create a person with custom field is the action event and this is the app that is pipe drive let me just click on connect okay so basically in the connection name, you have to enter the api token so to get the api token let me just take you to pipe drive so this is my pipe drive account and what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on my profile here in the profile you will find the option that is company settings click this okay so basically in the company settings you will find the option that is personal preferences click this okay so here you have three choices account your company and api click on api so this is your personal api token i'm just going to copy this i have copied it and i'm going to paste it here so this is my api token let me just click on save okay so when you click on save you will find some fields in front of you the purpose of these fields is very simple we are going to create a person in pipe drive from the data that we have received from wordpress via public net so we will start with the first one the name so basically this is the name let me just click here and how about we map the username okay so okay so let me just uh, start mapping all the details so let me just uh, scroll down scroll up actually okay remove this and let's start mapping so we have uh, the data here in the first accordion itself so this is the name so we are just going to map in the username that is rogerboy12 and uh, label we don't have any data regarding that but of course we do have the date of the last name so let's click here and let's start mapping once again so this is the last name so the last name is what was the last name okay so the last name is boy okay and this is the first name let me just click here and this is the first name that is roger okay so where is roger yeah so this is the first name now uh, we don't have any data regarding the phone number but yes email yes we do have the date of the email so let me just uh, click here and this is the email we have mapped it so basically we have got sufficient detail to create a person in pipe drive now we don't have any data regarding the deals visibility activity date so we are just uh, going to ignore that and let me just click on save and send test request to create a person in pipe drive let me do that okay so the api response is showing the data has been sent basically this is a positive response so let me just take you to pipe drive and i'm just going to take you to the audience contact click this okay so we are in the people's page of pipe drive so yeah we do have a person that is roger boy 12 so the presence of this person in pipe drive shows that we have successfully integrated wordpress and pipe drive with help of public net now before you leave let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so let me just take you to public connect and let me just minimize this uh, action window and let me just minimize the trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated wordpress to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to pipe drive so now there's a perfect flow of data between wordpress and pipe drive excellent